Okay, hello. Um, here we are again for the August live stream with Pastor the State. Uh, thank you for hello. joining. If you're online, let us know. Send us some likes. Send us some smiles so that we know and we're not just jabbering away to each other. But I'm Wendy, one of the founders of Pastor State, and I'm with a very special guest today, Francois Mermiot, uh, the chef owner um, extraordinaire of the wonderful Bar Atim restaurant in Singapore. So welcome, Francois. Thank you. Thank you very much, much for inviting me, Wendy. I mean, uh, it's great to be part, part of the, that little show with you guys today and the, the little tasting. Uh, I love wine, so it's perfect. Okay, and it's quite warm here in Singapore, so yes. we we got a drink. Yeah. Great, great. So, um, as I say, guys, let us know if you've got any questions for Francois. Please pop them up on the comments scene and actually let me make sure I can see the comments on my screen so I can answer them. And, uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll get going. So while I pour, oh, we have some hearts. Wonderful. Thank you very much, these people watching us. Um, I will pour uh, the first of the wines that we're going to taste together um, and discuss in the context of um, Francois's creativity in the kitchen. And that is the, can you see that with the camera? The Pastel Estate 2018 Sauvignon Blanc. I'm going to pour us a little taste. And Francois, why don't you tell everybody a little bit more about your restaurant and, and perhaps how you were inspired to name it and set it up here. Okay, Singapore. all right. So um, I set up this restaurant Baratin uh, about five years ago in Singapore. I've been myself in Singapore for the past 24 years. Uh, and I decided Baratin, um, casual restaurant uh, featuring south of France cuisine. That's where I'm from. I'm from Perpignan in the south of France, border with Spain. Uh, so a lot of things on, on, on seafood, charcuteries, we do a lot of communal dining, sharing, seasonal produce, so yeah, that's what we do here at Baratin, and um, we met like because they were a customer of mine, and they say, Absolutely. oh, we are making wine, I say, really? Then I, why, why I never tried it, you know? Yes. Then the next thing I know that they came with some samples, and I say, wow, Thank cheers. You. And Thank that you. was it. Love yeah. at first taste, I think. Is that yeah, right? yeah, love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we are supremely honoured, of course, uh, to be um, listed and featured on the, frankly, incredible wine list. It, it, it's a small, focused, stunning wine list here at Baratim. Obviously, there's a lot of French wine on there. Um, but we're, we're, we also have privilege to be to be included, so thank you. Well, you know, like yeah, we like our Aussie wine as well, you know, but selected one. Selected one. French, French show, French style. Little, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, maybe uh, we should just introduce a little bit about this particular wine mm -hmm. and then we can keep talking. So, um, the 2018 Sauvignon Blanc, um, I think all of you know the way we make our Sauvignon Blanc in Pass of the State, we do have a little bit of oak treatment mm -hmm. um, because it's a nice cool climate, we've got these lovely acidic lovely berries um, and grapes and so we, we basically wash the brand new French oak barrels in our in our Sauvignon Blanc before we use them to age oh, the okay, reds. Yeah. So uh, we parcel about 20% of the fruit and we put those into the brand new French oak barrels uh, for fermenting and then we put it all back into uh, the tanks, stir it on the leaves for five months and we end up with this beautifully, naturally acidic, beautifully fresh, aromatic, well, I'm saying what I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, <laughs> wine, that's exactly the, the kind of wine that I like, I like to drink right now. It's five o'clock, it's five in, in Singapore. You know, it's nice and warm. So this is a like very crisp, Mineral, but uh, uh, on the fruit as well. Look, I don't know to talk about wine. You know, I just know how to say like if I like it or not. And this, this like it, it's just perfect. You know, it goes so well with the climate here. You know, yeah. and uh, and this one where we feature it um, on our wine list because it goes with a lot of our food. Tell us more, please. Tell well, you have tried yes. a couple of things that we do here. You know, and uh, this like with some other uh, charcuterie, homemade charcuterie, charcuterie you know, because of the acidity will mm. cut down the fat of yes. the charcuterie and it goes super well with it. And also some seafood, you know, like a uh, um, grilled octopus that we are doing that now is paired with that one. It's just amazing, you know, yes. so, yes. so um, for me, it's just perfect, you know, that kind of wine. And so I, I, I'm the charcuterie board, we, we also, we were very lucky to have an event here, our wine club members. Um, good reason to join our club is as soon as COVID is over, we'll be doing more events like oh, this. Yeah. But we did a beautiful dinner with Francois at Baratim. And I remember uh, the first course uh, with this uh, with the Sauvignon Blanc, I think it was the previous vintage. It was a, 17, was a beautiful wrong, yeah. charcuterie board. Mm -hmm. So it, yeah, it absolutely. Um, oh, Richard, thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Pretty cool. Obviously in Margaret River, not in Singapore. Uh, thank you for joining us again. Oh, Mindy, thank you. You're in Singapore. Um, and uh, even speaking to us in French. Wonderful. She loves okay. the wine. Oh, I yeah. have to see that. I can't read anything. <laughs> Bonjour, j'aime beaucoup de vin. 
Moi aussi, j'aime beaucoup le vin. <laughs> Cheers. Um, do what, 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 what do you, when, I mean, you and I both, you know, we, we just know what we like when we smell these lovely wines. Uh, what kind of, um, I mean, you talked about the acidity cutting through the fat. Do, are there any other sort of things that you're trying to complement when you're thinking about how to put a menu with a, with a Sauvignon Blanc? Are you thinking about perhaps there's some, to me, a bit of lemongrass, um, Nectarine, yeah, nectarine. exactly. So, so that yeah, absolutely. And and since the style of cooking that I'm doing is not only Mediterranean, but uh, there's always a bit of Asian touch in it to it. And this, like, uh, imagine a bit of um, a bit of chili, a bit of coriander yes, with yes. it. I'm, t- I'm, t- I'm thinking about the mussel that I'm doing right now. And mm-hmm. to be paired with it, this is just nice, you know. Yeah, yes, yeah. A bit of Asian uh, 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 produce to go with it. Yeah. Perfect. Yes, what do you yes. think? I, I, absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. A little, just a little bit of kick. Because um, it's a little bit, not a kick with this, but, it, but it, it has got that structure and it has got it, it's, it's crisp as well as beautiful. Um, yeah, you know, like, I mean, there's a lot of Sauvignon Blanc from the New World that I don't really enjoy much. You know, mm-hmm. the one who are very much into um, a, a passion fruit kind of taste, you know, those one are very, very tropical, aromatic, very bit, tropical. Bit round, maybe, yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not so much into that, but for me, this one is just well balanced and it's just, it reminds me like a, a little bit of a Sancerre, you know, yes. from the Loire Valley. I call and, it a uh, fruity sancerre. Yeah, okay, well, <laughs> there you go, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, and look, I think it's partly we're blessed, of course, uh, with the Margaret River climate. And this 18 was a perfect vintage in Margaret River, a lovely, long, gentle growing season with that maritime influence, which means we do have the ability to use a bit of oak um, and, and, and get some of those um, softer, but also there's more... Uh, almost, uh, well, very minimality, but, but almost her- herbaceous um, features without it getting too green. Uh, and, and, and so we've got that, that sort of crisp structure. But what you were saying just now, like the, he's been in the oak for a while, right? Uh, just fermented. So uh, uh, 20% of it was fermented in the oak. We okay. didn't age it in the oak. Okay. But having fermented it in the oak, when we put that 20% back into the tanks with the, with the rest of the grape juice, it's then all those leaves, all those lovely... Um, features that, that it's sort of quiet by mm-hmm. virtue of being fermented in the oak are still in the tank and we're stirring them for and five is months. is that something that you have the, just made up or, or, or a lot of people are doing that process? Um, well? I think in my, oh, sorry, it's our winemaker, I'd love to wish it was me that was in yeah. charge of making these wonderfully <laughs> clever decisions, but um, uh, having discussed our philosophy and how we want to make the wine, this of course is our wonderful winemaker, Bruce Dukes. Um, uh, and and it is well in Margaret River, Francois. A lot of people don't make a straight Sauvignon Blanc, so this is a hundred percent Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, there's nothing else blended with it. In Margaret River, it's quite common to have a bit of Semillon. Yes. Um, but increasingly, more and more producers are doing what we do, which is a straight Sauvignon mm-hmm. Blanc. And, and and there is this um, ability for those that wish, and and obviously ourselves and our winemaker and one or two of the other producers um, who are doing this because of our climate. There is this ability to, to use a little bit of French, but you have to be light touch. French oak, sorry, not French. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's exciting. French is the wine. French, yeah. sorry. <laughs> French, French oak. Um, uh, but it's a light touch, so hence it's just a part of the fruit, and it's just literally washed in it. We're, mm-hmm. not, we're not aging it, so we don't want it to get heavy. Um, so, so we're seeing more and more of this in, in Margaret River. Um, and Mindy's saying she loves the sunset. Hi, David. Thank you again for joining. It's so nice to see these familiar faces. Oh, Pamela, lovely to see you live as well. Thank you. Uh, you can tell who's joining us from Singapore and who's in Australia. It's obviously a bit chilly tonight in Australia. I see. Okay. Uh, and Pamela's enjoying a red. Don't worry, we're going to move to a Cabernet Sauvignon soon as well. By the way, guys, let us know what you're drinking. It doesn't matter if it's not a pass of the state. It's always interesting to know what you're drinking when you're, when you're joining us. Um, so, yeah, so I think that structure um, mm-hmm. and that little bit of oak just gives that slightly more structured and balanced approach, which perhaps means that you compare it with a whole range of beautiful yep, yep. creations um, of, of yours. Um, so very nice. I also, I don't know. I could, uh, I could drink that the whole afternoon. Yeah, 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 we, yeah. We should have started earlier. <laughs> we should, we should, we should. We should. Um, it's supposed to be like summer holiday now, you know? Yes, yes, so, yes. You know, imagine like being like in the south of France, like... Um, of course, yes. Having, but let's do it in Singapore. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you. Um, how about while I think, prepare our red wine, why don't you tell everybody uh, something really cool um, amongst pretty much everything that Barra Tim and Francois and his team produce um, here. Something really cool that you do is your, and I'm going to mispronounce it, om- omasaki? Yeah. Ah, omakase. French, yes, tell us about that and I'll get the red ready as well. Yes, so that's part of the menu. Of course, we got the a la carte and we have also um, degustation menu, but we don't call it degustation menu with, with a structure like a, a few starters, main course and stuff like that. We call it omakase, which is, you probably know, like a term from a, a Japanese term uh, that said basically 
white card to the chef. So a lot of restaurant, Japanese restaurant, they propose the makase menu and uh, they will do it. I mean, that's the chef that will decide what's going to cook that day in function of the produce, in function of the season, and function of uh, stuff like that. So I decided to do something similar. Um, but I always ask customers first, a budget range, you know, some people are comfortable with that price, some can go up to another price. So I want people to be comfortable in what they want to spend. And then I, I always ask them what you do, cannot take, what you don't like, dislike, or allergies. And from there, we create the menu on the, on the spot with whatever it's seasonal, whatever I receive, whatever I feel like it. And um, yeah, it's been working quite well, uh, that, uh, that Omakase menu. It's wonderful. Um, yeah, a lot of people always ask me, oh, how many courses? I say, I don't know. <laughs> it really depends. Like uh, some will be sharing, some will be plated, some, yeah. So it changes as I speak, you know. So yes. Yes. My, my staff always pissed off with me you know, on day there, no? because I always change my mind, you know, like one day I do that, the second day, or maybe an hour later, I do something completely different and they say, but chef, you told me it was like this. I say, well, I'm the chef, I do whatever yeah, I want. You do what you want, yeah. exactly. You are the <laughs> artist. Uh, but also, I guess you're also, you're responding to the ingredients and you're responding to the produce that you have, because I think you also have a strong sustainability ethos. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Which is yes. nice, because of course, so does Pastel Estate with all the conservation that yeah. we're doing. So there's another partnership, sort of synergy there. Of course, uh, of course, that's, yeah. very, that's very important. You know, I mean, uh, for us, um, chefs, you know, like a restauranter, you know, like what's important is to convey a message as well to people, like buy good produce, you know, I mean, if you don't have the money, then spend a bit less, you know, but, but buy good produce, because the same for wine, you know, like don't buy any kind of wine, you know, like uh, knows where it comes from, try to know a bit more about it, the way they have been doing it, and, and, and with, with Passel, you know, I'm, I'm uh, at ease because I they are here, you know, I know. So. <laughs> he, knows. he knows where to find us. Yeah, yeah, if I know where to find you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, And actually, just before we move on, um, I think So was asking a question about pairing. She wanted to know if there's anything else. I mean, we, you talked about the mussels, the charcuterie. Um, so it's, it's quite interesting. Um, uh, we also um, have paired it with... Um, in a new experience that we recently um, got ready to launch, and we've just launched in the tasting room in Mark River, with a, with a sort of a sweet uh, chocolate bonbon. And, and it's, as a chef, I wonder what you think of this. We're working with a master chocolatier, Nadia Haskell from Mark mm -hmm. River. Uh, she owns a, a dessert, Harlequin Desserts, in, in Mark River. It's, okay. it's beautiful. She, you know, she's using ingredients from the garden and natural produce, and she's, she's Italian trained. I think she's Italian uh, personality. Um, and so, so she's created this special bonbon for all of our wines as a food and pairing wine discovery. Um, with this, she, she had, I think she found um, uh, lemongrass and lime from her garden. Um, and then she also got a bit of the, I guess the, the oak notes for her were sesame. And she created nougat with some sesame seeds. Oh, wow. And she wrapped it all together in this delicious pot. It sounds, it sounds good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Compliment. Yeah, um, well, it can work, absolutely. Yeah. It can work. I mean, it's not, it's not my forte to, to pair with... Um, with some with dessert, you know. That's but not <clears> true. <throat> That's not true. I have had some incredible desserts. Yeah, some I have, of them I have a pastry shape. chef. Oh, okay. She's, a, she's well, the one she's doing incredible. it. She's <laughs> incredible. I, I would like to take the credit for it, but no. She's incredible. Yeah. Okay. And um, yeah, I totally agree. You know, like uh, 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 pairing chocolate or dessert with wines and even white wine, you know, can be... Uh, and that one could work, you know. Maybe not so much into like the very dry white. You no, know? That no. one would be difficult to pair a dessert. Yes. But but so something like a, a beautifully structured like this one, I think that should be quite easy as well. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a new challenge. You can perhaps get your lovely patient. More challenge for me, yes. <laughs> oh, for her, yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, and with, thank you again for all the, these lovely comments. And uh, somebody at Passel State Estate is kindly saying that it's an incredible pairing. I don't know which of our members of our team is saying that, but thank you. I'm glad you're happy to be participating in our pairing. <laughs> I have a suspicion it might be my husband, Barry. Hi, Barry, because I can't see any other comments, and he promised, oh, he, would, oh. he, promised he would heckle us. Is he um, here, Barry? Yeah. Hi, yeah, Barry. Hi, Barry. <laughs> if, if it's you, you're coming up as Passel Estate. Just letting you know. Um, so I poured our 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon. For those of you that prefer red, in the cooler conditions that you might be in, in Australia. Um, and it, those guys in Australia, please forgive me. Yes, so it's definitely Barry. He says his favorite chef is the tart. Look, he's commenting about your pastry chef. Oh. It's past the state. <laughs> um, uh, so, um, 
friends who have joined us from Australia, thank you so much. Forgive me for flaunting that we have a little bit of the 2016 Cabernet left in Singapore. We've completely sold out just in the last week or so oh, well. in, in the tasting room in Australia. So, so it's on the list here, of course. If anybody in Singapore wants to get their hands on it. You know where to go. You know where to go. Come here, enjoy it with a beautifully paired dish. Or you can also buy it directly from us um, uh, and, uh, and recently through our lovely friends at the Mumba wine shop so there's a little bit left go so if you want it before we roll in Singapore move quickly so this is the 16 um, uh, a beautiful a beautiful Cabernet of course um, a slightly um, not quite as perfect a vintage in terms of the conditions but perfect in terms of the fruit that was um, produced at the end of it uh, we had a lot of bird pressure in 2016 as you've all heard me harp on about we have a conservation sanctuary at the vineyard oh really adjoining uh, all of our, um, our, 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 our all of our grapes so uh, you know we have we have a lot of bird pressure at the best of times because they're right there in the conservation sanctuary uh, but then when when the blossoms don't happen and then the climate isn't so good to keep them happily fed in our sanctuary they come and they attack all our grapes because they're lovely and juicy and oh, yeah. ripening. so we have all these issues that we create for ourselves with our <laughs> with our conservation sanctuary but so we had quite a, a low yield so there wasn't that that much of it i guess relatively speaking um, but it's, 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 a, well, you tell us, what do you think of it? Tell us what you think of it, Francois. Uh, very fruity nose, uh, peppery, I would, I would yes. add into that. Yes. Um, I mean, definitely, for sure, will go well, very well with a nice meat, you know, like oh. a roast meat or something like that. I mean, I haven't tried it yet, you know. It's quite early for me to drink red, but yeah, it's okay. You've got a whole, you've got a working night. <laughs> oh no, 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 but it's, it's cooking wine, like like for the cooks. Cooking wine? No, <laughs> for the cooks to yes, enjoy, yes, you know, yes, that's, yes, that's what I call yes. a cooking wine. Don't get it wrong, guys. <laughs> that's not a cooking wine at all. No, it's, it's, it's for fine, fine food. Um, and Veronica, hi, thank you for joining us as well. This is great to have so many friends joining us, um, new friends, in fact, on, on our live stream. Um, so you said fruity, which I think is really interesting because ours is a particularly fruit forward style. Um, all of our wines at, at Pastel Estate are. We want them to speak of the vineyard, mm -hmm. um, and of course we have this maritime climate. It, 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 it's it's um, gentle growing season. We've got gra gravity loam, and so if you compare it to some of the um, other regions that produce a lovely Cabernet or even Bordeaux, which is obviously the blend, yeah. this is another one straight, 100% mm -hmm. Cabernet, Cabernet. Yeah, um, it's probably a little gentler, uh, not quite as stern. Um, oh, Pamela, you're drinking our Shiraz and you're going to follow with the Bordeaux. Loving, that's wonderful. Thank you. I'm gonna, you're all settling in for a lovely evening. Somebody else I was drinking a Syrah I saw um, flush up earlier. But, what, so, the, what time is it in Australia now? I mean, so, Perth? Well, well, some of these people, I think, are joining from Margaret River, from Perth. WA said so same as Singapore. Same as Singapore. Uh, but okay. some of the people on the, on the East Coast are two hours ahead of us. So they're well yeah. into the evening. That's, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, so, so interesting that the first thing you said was that it, it's, it's fruity. And does that impact how you would pair this compared with how you might a pair a Bordeaux oh, or a different? Yes, absolutely. I mean, that's very important, actually. Um, I mean, a lot of customers actually always ask me, like, uh, 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 oh, what are, what are we going to uh, order for wine? I say, what about you order the wine? You tell me, and then I, I try to tell you what to order for the food. Interesting. I think this, your wine well, comes, your, the wine choice first, and that inspires you? It will be easier, actually, yeah. Oh, wow. It's like, actually, yeah, because you know, you know, you have one element, the wine, and you know yes. exactly what's going to go well with it. I mean, exactly. <laughs> you, try to, you, yes. you try to know that, you know. I mean, with something like this, you know, which is a bit um, fruity, like, I, I can see, like, a really uh, a duck. Duck. I mean, I know, like, you will say, like, usually duck is Pinot Noir. No, but, duck, yeah. But with that one... Mm -hmm. Duck and and like um, berries kind of sauce, you know, because there's a lot of berries as well. Blueberries, blackberries, yeah. I, that's what I find. Yes, so yeah. so something like a, 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 almost like sweet and sour, but light with some berries in it. Mm. Oh, that would be just perfect. Oh, that would be just perfect. Oh, yeah. That sounds yeah. yummy. Um, I I know we we didn't serve this at the wine dinner we had last time with you. We served uh, our special lot seventy one. We served the Cabernet fifteen, and actually we did that as a dessert. And but you paired it with a caramelized fig. Fix and so again, I guess you're picking up on some of those sweeter fruit. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, well, when when was it? it? Was last year, right? We did it last year. Was it last November? I think November, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. was the fixed season back back in um, back in France, of yes, course, you know. Yes. And and uh, and it was just perfect with that. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah it was. Um, so and I tell you, I know. Um, so of course, you know, here in Singapore, I'm in Singapore. Barry's at the vineyard, as you know. Um, uh, he's he's back at the vineyard. I'm I'm in Singapore, um, semi lockdown, but obviously also staying close to our lovely family and friends in Singapore, making sure they're good for their wine and all of those other things. Um, but um, 
Uh, where was I going with this? I was going somewhere with this. I don't know. <laughs> Have a sip. You will. You remember. I was going somewhere with this. Um, I can't remember where I was going, so we'll forget that little story. Um, uh, oh, and Veronica is trying our, our, our beautiful uh, Shiraz now. So has another... Oh, David, when are we next doing the wine dinner? And I've remembered what I was going to say, but answering David's question as soon as we can. At the moment, are you, I mean, how's it going, <clears throat> the constraints with the COVID? Uh, it's well, hard, right, to get crowds together. Well, for big crowd, it's difficult because you're not allowed to have more than five uh, diners per table. So, of course, you have a lot of people who want to have, like, table of, two tables of five and they are in the same group. But now, STB, the one in charge of that, they just announced to us, they said, this is not allowed. Yeah. So, so, so you make sure they don't know each other or they are not in the same group. Like, so... It's but so, that's, so we don't know. But when they allow us, I guess, David, as soon as they allow us, we're on it. We really want to do it. Yeah. We're thrilled and we really want to do it. And a lot of people have been asking. Um, and for those of you joining us from, from elsewhere, uh, in Australia and elsewhere, yeah, it's still pretty strict, the conditions here. We're very lucky. We have a glass of wine in front of us, so we're not wearing our masks. We'd have our masks on. Otherwise, we both greeted each other with a mask. We had to go like this with our elbows. We're not allowed to be seen in public kissing each other's cheeks. Oh, um, no, no. It's and there's a curfew as well. Um, the curfew is very, very strictly enforced. Not only are you not allowed to order any alcohol after 10.30, you clear the table. Um, there's no alcohol on the table. So it's not, it's not the right environment for a wine dinner. Um, but we also have, Richard's asking about event plans for Australia. Same, event plans in Australia similarly, but, but again, I guess um, we need to make sure that um, we are uh, confident that there's plenty of people that would be comfortable coming out to an event in Australia or you know, the WA, that the, the borders are closed, but there's lots of lovely people in WA who are keen to have a dinner with us and we'd love to do it with them. But some people are still a little bit reluctant and nervous around um, the social distancing. Um, so you know, as soon as we can, um, we're rolling out some exciting experiences in the tasting room as we speak. Um, and, and as soon as we feel confident that enough people will be comfortable and we can do it in a, in a responsible way, uh, we'll, we'll certainly be holding an event in, in, in Australia. I'm stuck in Singapore, of course, so you might only have Barry uh, instead of me hosting that one. Um, so I'll come and cook for you guys. Oh, is that there. a promise? Oh, I would love to. Okay, you I will witness and, that. You I have to go that. and see Pastor Lester. I haven't been there yet, you know, no. so of course okay. not. Oh, excellent. Okay, so let's seal that. Cheers. Cheers. Um, what else can we tell you about... Somebody is asking a question. Um, oh, so, really good question. So he's again asking, can people in Singapore still buy this online? Yes, they can, but the people in Australia, I'm sorry, you can't, we've sold out. Um, so you can go online and order the 16. Um, uh, oh, look, that's excited, people. Mindy's coming to Margaret River. If you're going to come and <laughs> cook for us, a lot of people are saying they're coming. Look, Richard Pierce, book is in. You've started something now, Francois. Good, let's do it. <laughs> let's Whenever do it. we can travel, I come, I come to uh, Margaret River first, all right? Wonderful, wonderful. So there's an event there. We'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Um, uh, we will make it work. What, what else was I going to tell you about these wines? Um, uh, so, so I should have mentioned this earlier for the Sauvignon Blanc, by the way. Uh, uh, many of you in Australia will know that the Holiday Companion 2021 was published just today. Uh, we were very lucky. We did really, really well again. All of our current releases um, comfortably over 90 points, uh, between 90 and 95, which is, which is a great set of results. Well done. Um, so this one, uh, the, the 2018 Sauvignon Blanc was uh, 92 points. This one is a, considered a past vintage. So the 2017, which you lucky people in Australia can now get hold of, was a 93 points. Um, and, and we've been very lucky uh, with the wine advocate who given both these lovely wines 90 points. And they both had a silver medal, one in decanter and one in the international wine show. So, it, so it's really nice. I mean, points don't really mean anything to anybody. It's whether you like the wine and whether it's beautifully made. And with our wonderful winemaking team, we're confident it is. And our wonderful grapes we're very blessed with um, in Margaret River. Uh, but it's always nice when you get a third party accreditation and you know you, you've won a lot of accolades and awards here as well a lot of the press the press love Barton here right yeah it's all right we is <laughs> the is the whole thing you know is a team is not only me you know and and of course the wine you know it's it's what makes the difference you know i mean we are not only oriented for uh, i'm a chef but i'm not for me what is important service you know yes. as soon as you go somewhere that you are take, well taken care of and you are in a restaurant for two three hours and then you forget about your daily life and you eat good food, but then being served like you know with a smile, yeah. with people who really care. So here at Baratta, we really try to do that. There's some hiccups, of course. You know, we are not perfect, but um, oh, no. yeah. we really, perfect. really try hard for that. Anybody, yes. anybody who's yet to, to, to visit Baratim, very close to perfect. Let me tell you, it, it's 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 wonderful. I know what I was going to say earlier. Barry's not here, but 
what I know he will love. While we've been locked down, before he went over to Margaret River, we were locked down fully here. We were able to order online from our favorite chefs. Um, the restaurant was closed, but I could not stop Barry almost every weekend, right? Ordering the Cote de Boeuf from <clears throat> Francois and opening a bottle of wine. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And how many times? And I think you delivered it. And personally. I also went to your house to deliver, yeah. Yes, the delivered Barry came in down person. And pick up the food, yes. <laughs> so, you say, you're delivering? I said, well, yeah, I'm bored. I have a car, so why not? You know, at least I can. So, so, I so go around. Um, you know? Barry will tell you that the beef A from here is perfect, but the beef is also perfect pairing with with a, with a Cabernet Sauvignon. But I guess everybody who knows Barry knows that. Um, what would you recommend with a cassoulet? Question for you. Oh, oh. Uh, I think for cassoulet, let's go to a Shiraz. You know, they, um, talk to me, talk to us about the vintage, about the Shiraz. But so we have a uh, the 2016 Shiraz. Um, Oh, and the 2016 Reserve Syrah. So you've got two options. And a couple of people I have, are drinking uh, one of our Reserve Syrahs tonight, okay. as we speak, actually. Um, so um, uh, both vintages, uh, as I mentioned, were, were wonder, wonderful fruit, but quite small yield. Our Syrah, you might recall, won a gold medal in the Decanter World Wine Awards. We were so excited by that. We do a French style. We call it Syrah. Syrah there's yeah. a clue on the, there's mm -hmm. a clue on the label as, as to our style of making it. So it's... Um, it's again very fruit forward and more like a Rhone um, style. We whole cluster ferment yeah. um, and it spends about 10 months in the bigger format, oak punches. Okay. So it's softer oak treatment. Um, and I think I've had our Syrah with your duck actually. Yeah, um, because I mean, you know, Cassoulet is from the southwest of France, right? So yeah. south of France, they're famous for Malbec, you right. know, this kind of thing. But I don't think you guys do we it. Don't, in, we in, don't do that. Yes. And in Australia, they do it as the well. South, yeah, south, some, some sure. Part? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Anyway, so, so I think the closest one will be the, from the Rhone Valley, Syrah, and, you know, because it's quite a heavy, uh, full-body wine to go with cassoulet, you know, it's like something super rich and heavy. Definitely, you need something strong in terms of wine to, to, <laughs> to complement yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and a bit, 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 bit heavy. And I find the Shiraz is very good for the very Asian food here as well. It kind of goes well with the spices. Yes, I think. as well, yes, yeah. Yes, yes. Um, uh, so... Um, and, and look, another, another um, I think that's Alistair from um, Calistoga Chalet in Margaret River. Um, <laughs> he's loving the Cabernet and, uh, and he's, he's saying Barry always has good, good ideas when it comes to wine and beef. Yeah, he's a pretty oh, yeah. consistent man <laughs> when it comes to wine and beef. Um, so guys, look, I, as I always finish up by saying, I've been told that we're not supposed to go on beyond 30 minutes, but we should speak for at least 20 minutes. We've been jabbering away for 27 minutes. Um, so I don't know if there's anything else you'd like to share or any questions anybody has that we haven't answered. Maybe we should think about wrapping this up. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm going to finish both bottles and maybe <laughs> right. going back to work, perhaps. Yes. Tonight's the night. To Are you fully booked tonight? Uh, tonight, actually, this week is slightly slower than the than, um, than the previous one, but we are going so, to so, get there. Yeah. So, if anybody fancies jumping in a cab, and, and they, they might get a table. Oh yeah, oh, we've yeah. got plenty okay. of wine for you guys, pastel, of course. You know. <laughs> um, oh, so we have another question. Since you are located in Singapore, what wine would you pair best with the local cuisine, especially spicy dishes? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, Reshem, I, I, I I've. Um, I, I often go to the uh, Shiraz, actually, our core Shiraz, not even the Syrah, the core Shiraz um, uh, from past the stage. And we've had it with all sorts of things. I did, a, I did a wine tasting with one of the wine writers for Epicure magazine, and she took me to um, the food court in Tiong Baru. Um, and we had it with, um, with some very local hawker food. And it was fantastic because, you know, it, it, it's, it's got a bit of that weight. Um, and, and the spice, and it complements nicely with, with the spicy food. But even, you know, some of the lighter dishes, um, this, this, this Sauvignon Blanc, as you were saying, I, I, maybe not the Chardonnay so much, but the Sauvignon Blanc with Asian food can be very nice. Oh, very nice, just yeah. perfect. I mean, this you can see it very well go, to go with, um, uh, what, what comes to my mind now is something like from a Thai, Thai you know, like a Thai curry, yeah. you know, oh, the, yes. yeah. and this kind of thing. Uh, or, or simply like uh, um, some Cantonese food, you know, like imagine it like with some uh, dim sum. Yeah, yeah. Dim sum or steamed fish, you know. So I, I have a friend that often, especially when Barry's away, invites me around. She's, she's local and she makes wonderful dumplings. Yeah. So I always go armed with, with the Sauvignon Blanc, which is her favorite. So thank you, Eliza, if you've, if you've dialed in. I'm just promoting your dumplings now, homemade dumplings. Mm -hmm. And we drink, <laughs> we drink Sauvignon Blanc and the, and, and the dumplings. Oh, good, good. And it's, yeah, it's really good. Of course, of course, yeah. of course. Yes. Yes. Work, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, so um, tell us your favorite three courses and pairing. A question from one of our wine club members, Richard Pierce. Is that, that's a tough question. Yes, what was what, your favorite question? three courses? What, have you got three that stand out as your favorite menu that you've done with a, with a wine pairing? Or, or oh. Is that too difficult? <laughs> no, but I mean, I always try to start with a, with a dry white wine. 
uh, to pair like with some seafood, like raw seafood. It could be like oysters. It could be like some ceviche of tuna. And then we move on to something a bit more. Uh, yes, let's go. <laughs> let's go for more. Um, then I go to like something like a chardonnay for the second course. You know that one I would do. I would do maybe with a with a grill, uh, a prawn or something, or a pasta with a bit of. Oh, pork. You, you got lovely um, Embarica pork. Yes, yes, that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. The pork jar yes, would be yeah. like very mm. well with it. Yeah. And then moving on to a light red, like a Pinot, and we finish by uh, with a Cabernet or a, a Shiraz for main course. Like, and yeah. So you have to go crescendo, um, I assume. I mean, I think so. Does that answer your question, Richard? And, and actually, Barry, Barry's saying the salt cod fritters with Namjin sauce are amazing. Oh, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He knows I the menu. I He's sitting I, in Margaret River, memorizing I can't the menu. I can't, I can't deliver to Margaret River, Barry, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you, when you come, when you come, you'll make yeah. something similar out of fresh, fresh ingredients. Um, guys, thank you. Thank, oh, hello, Jenny and Neil. That's so nice. Thank you for joining us again. And more hearts and likes. You know, guys, uh, it, it's half an hour. I've had a lovely chat. Cheers. Francois has a restaurant to run. Um, and menu it's okay now, now with the two glasses of wine I feel much better you know <laughs> That's good. life good. is always better with wine it, it what is do you think? wine and fine food and yes. friends and fine friends so thank you all of our thank lovely friends for joining us really lovely Cheers. we'll be back at the first Thursday in September um, we'll, we'll try and line up something fun and nice for you then and in the meantime um, if you're in Singapore and you want some of this 16 Cabernet you better be quick otherwise all of you as usual come and visit us buy online just stay in touch take care and thank you so much. Oh, Catherine, you joined us again today as well. Nice to see you too. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate Cheers. you joining us. Bye-bye.